Hey everybody, how you doing today? I'm Jake coming at you and now I'm actually recording through um, the Motorola Edge Plus and if you want to check out the videos on the Motorola Edge Plus you can check out the playlist that I dropped uh, it has all the videos but now I'm going to vlog with the Motorola I'm going to show you the autofocus also it has a good autofocus as you can see so laser focus very powerful so let's talk today about the ROG uh, Strix G15 with RTX 3070 and uh, AMD Radeon 5000 series. So what I'm about to do today is something that is more ener energy efficient. We have the PC uh, SX2. This is the PlayStation 2 emulator. Let me just drop this here. Sorry for that. Okay. So here I'm going to start the a PlayStation 2 emulator and we're going to check out uh, the video let me just try to give you more better exposure here yep there you go so we're gonna check out uh, I think it's Devil May Cry setup let's go to video we go to plugin and once we go here you'll see that it's on AMD Radeon graphics so basically we're gonna try to play uh, the game and see how much hours we can uh, play the game with using the uh, PlayStation 2 emulator so let's just click on start in the game Capcom is gonna start let's go um, what do we have here there you go so here you can see the FPS and if we just put it on full screen and Please don't tell me I need to plug a PlayStation 2 controller. Oh, yeah. So I think we need to plug in, but right, let's just fix it right now. Come back to you. All right, everybody, let's get it going. Um, temperature, of course, is gonna be uh, not an issue at all if you play emulation. So, uh, so we're gonna check out the battery so once we play a little bit the game we're gonna see the battery here uh, the speakers are awesome right? really, really awesome so just skip skip fast okay there you go okay so here as you can see it's playing at 60 fps no problem CPU, no issue with the CPU, 50 degrees, 44. Uh, the power brick is unplugged. So if you go back and see the battery, you can see we are at 70. 7%. And we're rocking around three and a half hours of play time. Uh, at 77, but if we go here, and actually drop it to to the minimum and go down and basically we try to get the best possible performance while playing the battery on battery excuse me so we're gonna go back and forth um, now what I'm gonna do right now Actually, is I'm going to go to the auto G and see if we are configuring things all right. So it's on silent, it's good that it's on silent. Here you can see 50 feet, 55 degrees, 47 degrees, uh, very, very cool. So, no issues at all with the PlayStation 2 emulator here. Uh, I'm playing on the uh, um, integrated GPU, not the RTX, just from the AMD. So it's actually doing great, great job. As you can see, the GPU is uh, turned off. Um, I'll just come back here. Actually, it's funny. Let's just see how to do this. I don't believe I did it before. Yeah, let's go to setting. Uh, bear with me, guys. I'm trying to find the setting for the GPU oh, that 
that's our effects and if we go to the game setting yep there you go uh, color temperature fps and if we go yeah there you go i found it i found it i got it there you go so here as you can see power panel let me just give you this a little bit zooming over here okay check out this area guys so what you can do you can play with this so i just clicked on this and igpu mode is off so once you click an igpu mode on that means it's going to turn off the uh, internal gpu here as you can see just give it a second there you go see extreme power saving so in that case if you turn it on what happened okay let me go back so all I have to do why yeah okay yeah yeah that's what I want to okay uh, turn on here sorry for that once you click the message yes here from ROG is going to take you to this page I mean this guy over here if, you, if it is pop click OK it's going to take you here click turn on and click yes once you do that you will completely disable uh, you are about to do the, to stop all the process using the discrete GPU yeah sure. sure I know that so when we go back we will see here as I told you before, extreme power saving mode. So this is turned off. The RTX is, RTX is totally turned off. And we are working on the integrated GPU uh, from AMD. And we, we once we go here, can further do power saving method, which is this area over here. Uh, panel power saver, once you click on it. And you'll be able to get the best possible better life by doing such a thing you know let me try and see how much we can pull right now there you go three hours and three hours and a half and uh, we're still actually processing the situation here so what we're gonna do we're gonna just uh, minimize this and we're gonna go back now if we zoom in on the FPS guys you'll see that the GPU is disabled totally that means zero uh, zero degree that means it's disabled that's the RTX 3070 it's off and it's working on the CPU which is on the uh, that's that's why it increased to 58 degrees because it's working on the CPU and the GPU at the same time um, let's go back so you'll be able to play, for example, Devil May Cry uh, in this state, in this state uh, with internal GPU, 60 FPS, no heat at all, just maybe less than 60, 58 degrees, nothing actually. Now, again, if we want to go back and check up on the power, you'll find out that we're actually saving more power right now as a 4 hours and 10 minutes, and probably is going to increase even more maybe it hits five hours so if you do the math guys just try to do the math you might uh, actually <coughs> play six hours uh, of PlayStation game fully charged from 100% to until the laptop dies on the internal GPU at 60 FPS uh, you'll be able to hit maybe uh, five hours or six hours easy so that's one thing I would actually uh, like to uh, experience because this is really nice uh, just want to show you the method how to do it if you are a PlayStation 2 player uh, yeah that's about it guys yeah, that's about the PlayStation 2 thank you guys for watching take care and see you in another video